Regenerative medicine is the process of regenerating, engineering, or replacing human cells to establish normal function. In some of the work that I do, I harvest these cells from blood and fat to, to establish a natural healing process within damaged tissue. We try to offer the most cutting edge treatments from whether it's Europe or the United States. I often travel to the United States or Europe to find out what the latest, uh, most established treatments are. We offer 10X, uh, N-Stride, platelet-rich plasma, lipogems. Uh, in fact, when we speak about lipogems, Carlo Tremolata is a very dear friend of mine. He's the one who invented lipogems. And they use an MSC, a mesenchymal stem cell, which Arnold Kaplan likes to call the medicinal singling cell because it leads to less confusion about what this cell does. And we use a lot of these cells, again, to establish normal function. I'm primarily interested in pain and function. So if somebody comes to me with osteoarthritis of the knee and does not want a knee replacement or not ready to have a knee replacement or maybe too young to have a knee replacement, I offer N-Stride or Lipogems. These are, again, minimally invasive treatments and will help people decrease pain and will increase function. That's what I'm mainly involved in. That's what I'm mainly concerned about. What's really interesting about these treatments is it's all about natural healing. Um, I, we call it orthobiologic. So in other words, we're taking cells from our body, whether it's from blood or fat or even bone marrow, and we're harvesting these very specialized cells. And many of these cells have growth factors which go into the area and signal other cells in order to establish function, establish healing, within the damaged tissue. These treatments are for everybody. In my clinic, we look at teenagers to people who are 90 years old. You can imagine if you're 90 years old and you have a disability, don't want surgery, or have comorbidities, and you have knee pain, we can help you. Because uh, again, what we're trying to do is decrease the pain and increase your function. Or if you're 50 years old and you're too young for knee surgery, or again, may not want to have knee surgery, then we can use the same type of treatment. This treatment will, can help you avoid surgery. If you need surgery, okay, that's fine. But this is an alternative to surgery. Other conditions we treat are tendons, ligaments, again, cartilage, injuries. We use various modalities, whether it's shockwave therapy, um, 10X, uh, radio frequency ablation. These are all uh, non-surgical, minimally invasive treatments to help muscle and skeletal conditions. The beauty of the treatments that I provide are they're all outpatient treatments. Um, they last less than 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, but you're usually in and out of the clinic within a couple of hours. There's only a local anesthetic, there's no general anesthetic, so literally you have the treatment and you leave the practice. Once you have the treatment, the nurses give you a bag with a pack of uh, instant ice um, and you're given instructions. We normally like to review you a couple of weeks after the treatment, whether it's you're coming back to the office or we do it by a video link. What's extremely important, and I can't emphasize this enough, is the fact that rehabilitation is important. So somewhere around seven to 10 days after the treatment, we need to get you into rehab. Because mostly what happens is you've established a certain way of walking, a certain way of using certain parts of your body, which is mechanically not correct. So what we try to do is reestablish the biomechanics and strengthening and gait re-education are all very important part of the rehabilitation. The recovery time really depends on which procedure you've had, but we're looking along the lines of four to six weeks. 
but what's really important is your general health as well. Someone who's a smoker and a heavy drinker has a longer recovery time than someone who does not. But again, it's so important that you take some responsibility yourself and stick to the rehabilitation process. You should only need about one to two treatments, possibly three to four. Again, during this process, we monitor you. If it's not successful or if you're still having problems, we're always happy to refer you on for a surgical opinion. This treatment in my hand seems to be extremely successful, anywhere from 85 to 87%. However, it's not, it does not work for everyone. And I think we should be very clear about that. And again, surgery is also a part of muscle skeletal medicine. And it's important to know that you may indeed need surgery.